Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good morning. It's my great pleasure to have a chance to, uh, to place our data. Uh, the, my topic today is actually the uh, origin can, transplantation can improve the clinical result of uh, uh, high risk uh, translocation A20 AML. Uh, I will have two parts. One is the, uh, the first part is actually is a, a review of literature about that demonstrate that actually T translocation is actually a heterogeneous disease. The second is a, a clinical trial result. And as, as all of you know, according to the NCCN or WHO classification, actually uh, T translocation was re reconsidered a uh, favorable disease, so uh, transplantation was not recommended. But actually, uh, actually, the, the uh, actually, sorry, but actually, uh, the, even the translocation T21 have 50 percent of 10 years uh, 10 years uh, relapse rate, and also actually is a heterogeneous disease. And also uh, the, this paper has demonstrated that the CKT can identify the patient with high risk, and also uh, this clinic trial has also demonstrated that the patient in CR. The MRD uh, in CR and also MRD after consolidation can identify, can, can, can class the patient into high risk and the low risk patient. And also our, the, our unpublished data also indicated actually the CKTA and the both CKTA and the, and the MRD uh, after consolidation can identify the patient with high risk translocation A21. So based on this, based on, so we can conclude from this literature that, that actually T translocation is not, uh, is actually a heterogeneous disease and both CKT and the MRD uh, can describe the high risk relapse patient. So based on this data, we initiated a clinical a prospective multi-center clinical trial. Uh, this is our, actually we designed the patient, uh, we, we designed the patient with, with three local reduction after a second uh, uh, consolidation as low, uh, as low, ri low risk patient. If the, after a second consolidation, the patient, the MRD, cannot uh, achieve the MMR, then we think those patient actually was high risk patient. So this is our design. Uh, the patient received uh, 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 induction therapy and then we two, used two, uh, uh, two, con cons two causes of uh, uh, intermediate high dose LRC for consolidation and then we uh, assessed, uh, uh, evaluated the MRD. If the patient achieved the MMR, then we, we think it is actually the low risk patient. If then we think it is a high risk patient. Also, if the patient uh, with the low risk, risk patient recommended to continue the uh, chemotherapy, uh, if they lost uh, the MMR, we, we think it is a high risk patient. Uh, for loss, uh, for actually, for loss, for patient with high risk, uh, we recommend to patient to receive the uh, receive the transplantation. Uh, for low risk patient, we can really recommend it to to to, to chemotherapy. But actually, because many patient and also many doctors think the T translocation is actually low risk patient. So although we recommended the patient to receive transplantation, but there's still some patient will choose the, the, the chemotherapy. So we defend the low follow our rec recommendation is risk director. Didn't follow our recommendation uh, patient uh, uh, called uh, uh, unrisk uh, uh, directed. Uh, and this is the uh, patient flow. Actually, totally 137 newly diagnosed patient was enrolled, and uh, 
122 patients get a CR, and 60 non patient is actually high risk patient. In low risk, high risk patient, low risk, high risk patient, uh, still uh, 20, 29 patients received the uh, chemotherapy, 40 patients received the transplantation. Even for low risk patients, there are still some patients received transplantation. Usually, this patient with HLO identical, simply donor, simply donor. And uh, the, actually, we, uh, we, we developed these two groups. One is the risk direct, is no risk direct. Uh, this is the characteristic question of this patient. So we can find uh, actually for after transplantation, uh, actually uh, the in total, uh, uh, in a risk direct patient, that means the follow-up recommendation including a high risk patient received transplantation, low risk patient is received chemotherapy, the relapse rate is very low, and disease free survival is quite high. And also for low risk patient, actually uh, there are some patients received chemotherapy, the disease free survival is actually more than 19, nearly 100%. Uh, but for transplanted patients, actually the disease free survival is poor. So, uh, for loss risk patients, they cannot benefit from the transplantation, they benefit from the chemotherapy. But for high risk patients, the, the, the if they receive the transplantation, the uh, disease free survival is nearly 70%. But uh, for those high risk patients, if they receive the chemotherapy only, the, the disease free survival is only 20%. So there's a significant difference. So actually, this data indicates that the, the transplantation can benefit the uh, high risk patient. And also, uh, some in later stage of patient, we, we, we have the kit, uh, 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 we, we monitor the kit, because in the early stage, we don't have, uh, to, to, we, we don't have the, the kit data. So only sub, some of patients have a kit uh, uh, kit mutation analysis, so we can find uh, seems that uh, the kit, uh, the kit positive patient also seems benefit from transplantation, but because maybe during the small number, the, the difference was not a significant difference. And also, uh, the the uh, uh, for kit mutation patient, uh, also. Transplantation is better than chemotherapy. So, multivariate analysis also demonstrate that uh, the actually MRD treatment uh, choice and the kit state uh, uh, affect the relapse rate, but only uh, the, the MRD and the treatment choice affect the disease free survival. That's actually um, uh, MRD, uh, uh, transplantation is benefit the high-risk patient. And also, uh, I think this uh, actually based on our recent unpublished data, a kit positive patient also uh, benefited the transplantation. So I, I'm, I'm, the, I'm quite sure uh, there's no significant differences because the, the small number of patients. So we can conclude from this multi-center clinical trial that uh, uh, actually orogenic transplantation can improve the outcome, can improve the outcome of high-risk T -trans translocation A21. So our, in our center, our recent uh, recommendation for uh, T translocation 21 is the actually after diagnosis, we uh, we we uh, we uh, routinely screen the uh, screen the CKIT. If CKIT positive, of course, we think this is a high risk patient. If the CKIT is negative, when when then we we, we will give a standard induction therapy after two course uh, uh, high dose LRC consolidation. We re evaluate the patient state. If the patient now that if the MMR, we then we recommended them to receive the uh, transplantation. 
I would like to take this opportunity to uh, thank my uh, colleague who uh, contributed this work. Thank you for your attention.